What's up guys, welcome back to Anumanji and today a shocker dropped. I think that YouTube dropped the mic with this one, okay? Equalizer 2. Now I knew that they were making a sequel, but I had no idea it was coming out as soon as it is. And I also wasn't expecting a trailer for it anytime soon. So I am super stoked for this. The first movie I was a huge fan of. It was one of those movies that I feel like was really underrated. A lot of people didn't see The Equalizer. I have no idea why. In, in my opinion, it's one of Denzel's better movies. And it had Chloe Grace Moretz in there, who I'm a big fan of. If you don't know who she is, check out that movie with her as Hit Girl. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, no, but uh, I was a big fan of that film, and people don't don't people haven't seen it. So the fact that they even greenlit this one for a sequel was like, yeah. <laughs> so I'm super excited for this. Uh, I can't wait to to see what uh, Denzel as the Equalizer is going to do, or you know, what's his adventure this time around. I'm, you know, I I'm. I'm curious, like, hey, what are we going to do with this character now? Is this going to be Denzel's new trilogy of movies? Or is he going to reprise this character role like uh, like James Bond or something? I don't know. I, I, I would be okay with it. <laughs> um, but before we get into the reaction for this trailer, if you have not done so already, go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you can get more content like this, which contains movie news, reviews, and reactions from me, your friend, Derek, your bestie. Let's go ahead and watch this trailer and then after it, let's talk about it and see if it's any good or if it sucks. They're going to war with me. First time to Turkey? No, no, no. Long time ago. Different life. Now you come back. Yes, I'm looking for something. You can find whatever you wish in Turkey. About a man who kidnapped a little girl from her American mother. Would not be looking for such a man. It would be dangerous for you. Men like him would think that. Helping all these random people and everything. We stay off the radar. Something happened to one of ours. So I'm obligated to look into it. Thought you were retired. Oh, I am. Just like you're dead. <laughs> yeah. What's the matter? <laughs> they knew what floor she was on. We're tying up loose ends. Exactly. She pardoned me for seven years, Mac. It's a mistake to go to war with him. It's no time. They're going to war with me. It's no time. Whoever did this have all charge skill sets. It was the agency. Family. You ever see Star Trek? Very good. Call 911. Go to they killed my friend. So I'm going to kill each and every one of them. And the only disappointment is that I only get to do it once. Seeing you carrying all those books around, I figured you for some kind of teacher. I'm a high level paid government assassin. <laughs> that looks sick, man. Wow. I mean, that actually looks a lot better than the first movie. And the first movie was pretty good, but this looks way more intense. Oh my god. <laughs> 
you got to give it to Den Den Denzel. He can put on a lot of different hats, but I love it when he plays like a stone cold killer because he pulls it off so well. He's just so believable. I mean, wow. I mean, he's one of the greatest actors of our generation. But I mean, seeing him in projects like like this, it just never gets old. Wow, <laughs> wow. Um, I think that the story is, you know, it's it's a little uh, normal. You know, friend gets killed, so he kind of goes on like a rampage and kills everybody who who did it. I'm pretty sure that the movie's just going to come up with really creative ways that he gets back at these people who attacked his friend. So that's, you know, I, I know that. It's, it's not original, but it seems entertaining, and that's the most important part of it. I don't think that he's going to be putting this movie up for like his next Oscar nomination or anything. I think it's just a movie that he's putting out, and that's fine. Um, I think that we need more established actors in action films. I feel like a lot of them really can pull it off a lot better than some of the other guys. Not saying that we shouldn't give some of the lesser-known actors a chance... Um, but why not give some of these, uh, um, you know, bigger actors, some of the ones who are like stuck in the, in the artsy roles, why don't, why don't we bring a lot of them over here to films where they can be, you know, stone cold killers or assassins or, or something and see how they do, see how they do there. I would love to, to see a movie with Meryl Streep as like some kind of assassin or something. I think that would be very interesting. I know she's older, but come on, there's really nothing that Meryl Streep can't do, right? Anyway, um, what I what I really want to know is if Chloe is going to make a an appearance in in this. And is this movie a prequel, or is this like after the events of the first film? I can't really tell. Uh, see, he he seems really active, which is something that he wasn't in the first movie. It's been a while since I've seen it, so if I'm missing something, let me know in the comments below. Um, but what do you guys think of this trailer? Did you guys like this trailer? Are you excited for the Equalizer 2? Also, did you see the first one? What do you think of that one? Let me know in the comments below. And if you have not done so already, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you can get more content like this, which contains movie news, reviews, and reactions from me, Derek, right here at Anamaji. Until next time, stay dope.